Hello, welcome to Kalyan Classroom. Today we are going to see how consolidation being done in MS Excel. Combining two or more Excel sheets or combining two or more Excel workbooks. We are going to take an example and we will see how this will be working. So here this is one sheet from Chennai. This is another sheet from Hyderabad. This is another sheet for, uh, from Bangalore. So for our example I have taken three sheets. Let us assume the all the three sheets coming from various branches of from the various locations. right? So this we are going to consolidate. So before that we have to ensure that all the sheets are having the same kind of identical structure. Now I am coming to the consolidation main workbook, main worksheet. From this place only we are going to consolidate. I am naming that as a consolidate from same book because all the three sheets are also the same book only. All the sheets are in the same book. Right. I am placing the cursor left top corner from there that is the point from there the consolidated report is going to be generated. Right. The consolidated option is there in the data menu click on data menu and see this is a consolidate okay so the fresh and the dialog box comes up for the consolidation it is asking the references before that you see these are the various functions also we can apply simultaneously on consolidation okay we need not go for the functions individually just select and bring the references say okay it will be done okay so for our example, I am taking the sum. Now the references are required. So three references. All the three references are in the same workbook only. Now the first reference, keep in the mouse pointer in this window and click on the first sheet and select the data set. So this is the data set. In my data set, the top row is the labels, the left column also label of the data set, right? So that reference comes to this window that should be forwarded to this panel all reference panel by clicking the add that is done now i need the second reference just see it is already highlighted i can press the space button that will be removed now the window is taken so that we can accommodate the second reference click on the sheet worksheet and select the data data set area and as like as soon as i selected the reference area data area the reference also copy to this window right so that should be simply move to the panel that can be done with the help of the add button see completed now this is highlighted just by pressing the space bar the window becomes taken right it's ready to accept this next reference now click on the bangalore sheet selected data area three references copied click on the add all the three references comes to the same now we can go for the consolidation. So before going for the consolidation, we have to look into these three check boxes. One is we are saying that the data set copied reference, the top row is label like that. The left column also label. That is what it is saying, right? This one is dynamically connection. Create links to the source data means if any changes happen after consolidation in these worksheets, that also will be reflect in the summary. Okay. If any change is made, that also will be reflected here. If it is 8 becomes 10 in the sense, 2 will be added in the main summary. That is all. Right. So I am checking these three and saying okay. Now see, this is how it is showing. And 2 wheeler, 3 wheeler, 4 wheeler, square parts. Right. And see, just because this column is vacant, you know. Right. So these two wheelers, all three branches, 20 units totally, right? Sold numbers 20, you see, just you will check. Chennai two wheeler is 6, Hyderabad two wheeler is 6, 6, 6, 12, here it is 8. 12 plus 8, 20, that is what it is showing, 20, like that. This also 21 from all branches, like that. This is the sum of all the three sheets, like that, this giving. Uh, just I want to see how the 25, uh, 2 lakhs 50,000 happens. We can go to this area. Here you see, this is a subtotaling. You just click on the first plus symbol. It is saying that 
least two lakhs to a thousand happens because of this. See, I am selecting this in the bottom. You can verify that two double five triple zero, right? I told you that the dynamic connectivity. You see, in the three wheelers, all the branches have it seven seven seven. See, we we'll check it three wheelers seven. I am making it as uh, instead of seven, I am making one. So six will be subtracted. Here also, instead of seven, I am making two. In this place, instead of seven, three. So what happened? One, two, three. Totally six. You come back to the main booklet. You see, here is six. So this is how it will be happening in case of dynamic connection. So now we are going to see how workbooks will be consolidated. Here you see. There are three workbooks are there: ECAL branch, March, and the KK branch, then BHL branch. These are the three workbooks, right? So this is another workbook, and uh, this I don't want. So these are the three workbooks. These three workbooks are located in uh, sample data. You see, this is a sample data. This is a folder. The files are opened. Yeah. Okay. To open uh, your fresh Excel sheet. So this is a fresh Excel sheet. So part of it, then going to data and click on the consolidate and the sum is there. I'm pressing the red spot is there no in the browse. I'm clicking that so that really I can go to the ECAL workbook and select the data point, data area, and reference is copied. Now by clicking the red spot again, I'm back to the window. Right now I can click on add button that is moved to the panel, the KK branch. So this is the KK branch, and I am copying. I am selecting that location. So the reference is copied. Now I can press this red spot. I am back to this place. Now it is showing the same Excel. So that can be removed. That can be eliminated by deleting this by selecting the red spot. Then, then go to the Excel sheet. Click on the uh, KK location is select the data area. Now it is showing KK branch, right? You click that red spot. Now you can see the KK branch. So there is a reason you have to remove this pan before going to the new reference. And you can see this add. Now it is KK reference also copied. Now I am removing this, keeping the mouse pointer, clicking the plus, the red spot there. So that I can move to the next one. The ECA copied, KK is copied. Now it's the BHL. Now this area also copy the reference by selecting by clicking this and coming back to the panel, BHL and add it. So all the three references copied. Now you know the reason. I'm selecting. I'm saying that top row and left and this dynamic connection and say okay. Now see. And coming back to the newly opened sheet. This is newly opened sheet. Okay, you see, I'm enlarging this so that we can see. See, this is electronic groceries and bakery items. These are the data. You just open this, you can see. These are the three branches of groceries, electronics. So this is electronics item from all the three branches. This is total amount. And week two, this is a total amount, otherwise total numbers from all the three branches for the electronics. And the grocery is also same thing. So we can open the subtotal and we can see the consolidation. If you want to have the total, you can select this area and go to the home. And auto sum will be summed, right? So this is how the consolidation will be done for the individual workbooks. Okay. Thank you.